Hey, what up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Yo Mesa. Thank you for coming back to this last video in the series of the Sword Key 4. As you know, or if you don't know, maybe it's a good thing that you can go back and, re and revisit the other two videos that I did first, which was a general review of the camera and then a more sort of technical, kind of giving you um, some of the, pr the steps or process to load film this camera, uh, some of the quirks and stuff. So, you know, those are great videos to go back. But in this last one, I want to show finally, you know, let's put this camera to the paces and see what we can do with it, what can sort of expect. And, you know, I, I want to try different things in this video. You know, I used the camera a couple of times, um, but, you know, it was always with um, superior film, you know, the sort of more affordable film that we can find, you know, drugstores and stuff like that. And it was great for the, you know, for the longest time. But then I, I bought two, two rolls of slide film, uh, which I never shot at before at all. And from my understanding or like, you know, trying to gather in as much information for myself, it's not that easy or it used to be like pros to only shoot a slide film. I don't know if, if you're more experienced or you have years of experience shooting film, let me know. Um, and just to just keep it short and tell you a little bit of experience, definitely is one of those films that you want to, you know, um, measure the lighting the best way possible. You know, it's, it tends too easy to blow on a, either like crush back by blacks or blown up, you know, um, the uh, highlights. So be careful about it. Again, it's my first time shooting this film. There's a pretty sure there's a mistake on the color correcting. I scan the film, but definitely there's a learning curve. Like it doesn't react the same as a you know regular film, like negative film. So that's another thing to consider. The camera act really well for the most part. Um, I use the Jupiter 8, and and also like you may see on the pictures certain parts that are kind of like this gloom around the pictures and tend to happen a lot. If I notice it with the Jupiter 8. It's a great lens and everything, but once you start like shooting against the sun or highlights, it tends to create this almost gloom effect, which depending on what you do, you know, it, it probably is what you want, just to be aware of that. This is the lens that comes with the camera normally. So that's something to really, really put attention to it. But overall, the experience was great. The Another thing, another layer of sort of experimentation, because normally I use my film cameras for like street photography, but this time I really, really want to have a subject or a model. And my buddy Clay, you know, step up and like, yeah, dude, like I'm going to do this. Uh, let's do it. And we went to the streets trying to find backgrounds, you know, create backgrounds on the streets sort of way, you know. Um, and he, you know, put a lot of production value with his fancy suit, the cigar and everything. So I think that I think that the result was great. I'm gonna experiment more with the scanning process and see what happened because I'm pretty sure I can improve a little bit um, the scanning. And last and least, I know I said in the second video there will be Velvia 50, but I get confused because one of the things with the Sorky 4, you can't see what film is inside. You know, once you lock it, there's no way or window to tell you what kind of film it is. And yes. Everybody makes mistake. I do too. And I start shooting like, wait a minute, what kind of rolls in this? And it was that Velvet 50. So I did, I took pictures of my family with that roll of film. And I'm going to do a plus video showing you just the results and see, you know, what we get. But for this one was Probia 100F. This is the um, the film that I use. So far, I like it. Seeing the, um, seeing the, the positive film against the light looks awesome. Uh, I may try to see if I can project them somehow with some that some guys or people sell their project all projectors for slide film really cheap. So that's an alternative that I can do in three because that's how supposed from my understanding that's the way you're supposed to see uh, positive film you know through light and a projector. And I can see that on on the scans there like some of the colors are kind of moody maybe. But again, tell me in the comments if you like. Uh, let's go and see their photos and then we come back
Coming back, just as a conclusion, Sorky 4 is a solid camera. You should um, try to 
get your hands on it. If you're, especially if you're starting to film, you don't want to spend a lot of money. And on top of that, you want that range finder style camera. It's definitely a, a really good start point. After that, you can jump to other cameras. But again, I think I repeated in the other videos, it's just one of those cameras that give you the basics. Like you can't complain, you have everything there to go and create um, your images. Sure, it comes with some quirks here and there. But you know, that's what it is. You, I mean, for 50 bucks, you can't you know, complain that much. There are other options out there. Just do your research. But again, from my point of view, from you know this uh, corner of the internet or the interwebs, well, I, yeah, I recommend it. You should get your hands on it, experiment, and if you know cause effect and what you're looking with this uh, you know specific tool, which is film. Um, if it works for you, why not? You know, and after that, then you start investing in yourself, investing in equipment that you love more, or you know, you're gonna end it up just like me, um, keeping it, keep it to myself and um, enjoy it. And I'm gonna shoot more rolls of films. Sure, I get a, another camera, so I'm gonna keep trying, but definitely this one is staying in my collection. It's my first rangefinder film camera, and um, I like it. So, guys, hope you enjoy it. Like the you know, this thing, share, and all the you know, you know, the drill. And uh, let me know in the comments uh, what would you like to see. I'm I'm gonna buy more film to experiment other kind of films. Just wait for that. Um, the next probably review or sort of opinion or check out of the camera is gonna be of this puppy. It's like definitely I'm loving this camera a lot. It's the Boylander Vesa R, the first version. So wait for that one too. And um, you know. Let's have fun with film and stuff. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, see you until the next one, guys. Adios.